Hi, this is Shay Jackson with Hype Educational Specialist, and today we will be working a Algebra 1 proof problem using the order of operations. Let's get started! Our problem states 3 open bracket 7x minus 4 in parentheses x minus 3. We're going to close our bracket plus 1 is equal to 16. Now our equivalent equation answer is 9x plus 37 is equal to 16. That means that after I worked every single step of this problem, this is what it needs to look like. Let's get started. Alright, now before I get started, whenever you see a subtraction sign, it's a good idea for you to change it to addition. But how do you do that? Okay, once you change that subtraction sign to an addition sign, whatever number is immediately after it or whatever term is immediately after it, you're going to change that sign too. So in our problem, the 4 was positive and so was the 3. But once I change that subtraction sign to an addition sign, that positive 4 becomes negative 4 and that positive 3 becomes negative 3. So now my problem reads 3 open bracket 7x plus negative 4 in parentheses x plus negative 3. We're going to close that bracket plus 1 is equal to 16. Whew, that was a mouthful. Okay, so the first step that we're going to use is the distributive property. I am going to distribute my 4 to everything that's right in the parentheses. Now, how do we know when to use the, the, the distributive property? I got tongue tied just then. The negative 4, whenever you have a number that's right outside of the parentheses, that means there's no operation sign, no addition sign, subtraction, division. There's no sign, operation sign, in between that number and the parentheses. That means you use the distributive property. So in my example, I have negative 4, then in parentheses, I have x plus negative 3. The distributive property means I'm going to multiply. So I'm going to multiply negative 4 times x plus negative 4 times negative 3. Okay? I'm working inside of my brackets because we know with the order of operations, the first step is parentheses, brackets, or braces. And within my braces, yes, I do have another parentheses, but I can't combine the x and the negative 3 because they're not like terms. So I look right outside of that parentheses and I see a negative 4. Oh, now I need to distribute that negative 4 to each term inside of that parentheses, which means to multiply it by the x and also the negative 3. Now, once we do that, negative 4 times x is negative 4x plus negative 4 times negative 3 is a positive 12. Remember, whenever you're multiplying or dividing, a negative times a negative is a positive. A negative divided by a negative is a positive. Now, if you have a positive times a negative, that answer is going to be negative as well as if you have a negative divided by a positive, that answer is going to be negative. So now what our equation looks like is this. 3 open parentheses, I'm sorry, open brackets, 7x plus negative 4x plus 12, we're going to close our brace, plus 1 is equal to 16. Let's look at what our next step is. All right, now within our brackets, now we have like terms. You ask yourself, what are my like terms? Like terms have the same variable and also the same exponent. Right here, we have 7x plus negative 4x. Do they have the same variable? Yes, they do. Do they have the same exponent? Yes, they do. So that means I can combine them because they're like terms. 
can I com combine that 12 with it? No. The 12 does not have a variable, so that's where we can stop. The 12 is considered a constant, but the 7x and the 4x are considered variable terms, and they're like terms, okay? So 7x plus negative 4x is equal to 3x. Hmm. Why is it equal to 3x and not 11x? I am so glad you asked. Because that 4 is negative, whenever you are adding integers together, if the signs are different, you subtract. So I have 7 minus 4 is 3. And you take the sign of the larger number. Since the 7 is the larger number, and that's the sign for the 7 is positive, I am going to have a positive 3. So my equation is now 3 open braces 3x plus 12 I'm going to close my brace plus 1 is equal 16 it's getting slimmer alright so let's move on to see what we need to do next order of operations again so we see that we have our braces, which is the same thing as parentheses, which is the same thing as brackets, okay? So with my braces, I am going to use the distributive property again. Again, if you look, if there's not a sign in between a number and the parentheses, the brackets, or the braces, we know we're going to use the distributive property. And when we use the distributive property, that means I am going to multiply the number that's right outside by each term inside of the parentheses, bracket, or brace. Okay? So, for this problem, I'm going to have 3 times 3x plus 3 times 12 plus 1 is equal to 16. I'm going to multiply those terms. 3 times 3x is equal to 9x plus 3 times 12 is equal to 36 plus 1 is equal to 16. Okay, now I can combine like terms. What are my like terms in the equation? On the left hand side of the equation we have 36 plus 1. Those are called constants. Why are they called constants? Because they don't have a variable. Okay? So it's 36 plus 1 is equal to 37. Can we combine that 9x with that 36 plus 1? No we cannot. Why? Because it is not a constant when you have a coefficient which is the number in front of a variable and a variable that is called a variable term. They're not like terms, so the only thing that I can combine are the 36 and the 1. 36 plus 1 is equal to 37. Now my equation reads 9x plus 37 is equal to 16. And what do you know? I have reached my equivalent equation answer. So we're done. Whew, that took some work, but we did it. I'll talk to you soon.